We're starting with a default install of Visual Studio Code. This happens to be on a Windows 10 laptop. As you can see, it's pretty minimal. It's just this is a default dark theme. But I see I saved this file as a PS1. It doesn't recognize it as a PowerShell file. Uh, it's asking you to install the PowerShell extension. We don't have the terminal. And we also don't have any IntelliSense to go along with the PS1 file, just as we get in PowerShell ISE. First thing we need to do is install the extension. Uh, click on the extensions icon, type in PowerShell. That will be the one that's at the top of the list. Go ahead and click install. When it completes the installation, it's going to ask you to reload to activate the extension. We'll go ahead and do that. As you can see, it's starting to look a little bit more like PowerShell. We now have the integrated console. We now have some IntelliSense. The next step is to make it look like PowerShell. And to do that, we need to install the PowerShell ISE theme. Go ahead and click on the gear the color theme, and you see the extension installed, the PowerShell ISA theme. We'll go ahead and select that. Now we're looking more like the PowerShell ISA we all know and love. A couple more things we need to do in order to get the behavior of PowerShell ISE is to set the keyboard and the mouse interaction and set up the code snippet. Let's go ahead and set up the keyboard and mouse interactions. The first thing we need to do is hit Control shift p to bring up the command palette. Type in Preferences, Open, Setting. And we're looking for the JSON file because we're going to edit that file directly. You can see there are very few settings here, just the color theme and the window zoom level. What I'm going to do is add a few more to add mouse controls and font controls and things like that. So we'll go ahead and slide all those in. Now that we have those settings, we're going to go ahead and save them. And you'll see it go back to the default theme. Let's go ahead and set it back to the ISE by going to the color theme. I'm selecting PowerShell theme. One thing I wanted to show you is now we can zoom in and out with the mouse wheel. That we now have control on the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. The next thing I want to do is set up the code snippets. And to do that, we need to go to User Snippets, type in PowerShell. And you can see we don't have any code snippets here yet. We'll need to put them in between the last brackets here. Again, I already have these set up with the most common code snippets. Go ahead and add these here. And again, I will make these available. These code snippets do have a special syntax, and it does take a little bit of skill to get these right. This will be explained in detail in another snippets video for you. We'll go ahead and save this. And now, if you type in help, you see that the code snippets is there. If you hit enter, you see how the code step is already lay out the basic settings for a help file. Or if you have functions, you see you have a basic function, advanced function, and an inline function. Let's do one more. You see we have a full IntelliSense choices now. And that's it. Thank you for watching.